Extra Minutes. Tim Jarvis is one of those really big blokes, intimidatingly so. He's got to be six foot six and a couple of axe handles across. And of course, we know he's got form, he can do anything. He's walked uh, single handed to the pole, solo to the pole. He's uh, walked through deserts, he's climbed just about every mountain on earth. And now he's recreated the epic sea voyage of Shackleton. This is a bloke who will take on anything. And his motto, frighteningly, is better to die than to fail. My motto is the other way around. Well, I don't fear death, I fear failure. That's the main thing with my expeditions. Um, you're respectful of death, but you don't fear it. He does it for the same reason that Hillary climbed Everest, because it was there. He does it to test himself. With these kind of people, they are a bit self-obsessed, we should say. I hope he's not watching because he's a very big bloke. But they are a bit self-obsessed and it's all me, me, me. And I am testing myself to the limits to find out more about myself, even though I've got wife and kids and people who love me and, uh, and lots of friends. Um, I am testing myself because it's about me. I think I'm a normal guy who's just decided to push himself and see how far he can go and just to see what his limits are and in so doing discover a bit more about myself in the process. And the tragedy isn't when a man pursues his dream and dies pursuing it. The tragedy is when he doesn't pursue it. The tragedy is not even right. trying, yeah. It was around about the turn of the last century, uh, the 1800s going into the 1900s. It was a period known as the heroic age of exploration. And they were heroes, people like Scott, or like the Scandinavian Amundsen, or like Shackleton, or Mawson. These were great men, but they were also given a great opportunity, an opportunity that we don't really have anymore, and that is to go to somewhere where no one has been, and to do something and conquer something that hasn't been conquered. Now, of course, it's all been done which is important about Tim Jarvis because it does say there are still things to do, but you're doing things that have already been done. In Tim Jarvis's case, you do it exactly the same. With the same crappy food and the same shoddy clothing and equipment, you go out in the steps of the greats, like Mawson, or in this case, like Shackleton. guys were iron men in their wooden boats and, and this proves that uh, modern man can do the same thing. We can still muster the endurance and the courage and the perseverance to pull something like this off and uh, it's a tribute to everybody involved and it's happened because we just did not give up. And I did promise Tim that I'd plug his book on Shackleton's epic journey and Tim is too big a bloke to break your promise to. So here it is, great pictures, great writing, a great read.